Okay, I thought I was done with this, but I'm gonna do one more final context window test for the new chat GPT. And the idea comes from two comments. So two users, thank you for this idea, both genius ideas. So the first one is NetPixels. He wants me to place the secret code in the middle of our input or middle of our chat and then ask GPT-4 Turbo what the secret code is later on because he believes that the AI tends to remember things from the beginning of the conversation and the end. It kind of cheats its memory process by ignoring stuff in the middle and just looking at the initial context and then kind of the end context. Great idea, we're gonna test that. And the other viewer is this person, sorry, I'm not gonna pronounce the name. I don't wanna make a mistake, but this is a shout out to you. This viewer is suspicious that ChatGPT is looking at metadata. So things like the title, and if you saw my previous video, when I give it the secret code, it initially changes the title to that secret code. And even though I change it later, it's still remembering that metadata from before. So his idea is to start a conversation about something random, similar to NetPixels, and then give it the secret code. So it's already written the metadata for the conversation. It already thinks the conversation is about something else. We drop the secret code in there. We input a bunch of tokens. We make the conversation very long and then we ask it to bring up the secret code from earlier and see if it remembers it then. Okay, this is gonna be a summary of our final context window test. Number one, we're gonna put the secret code after 10,000 tokens. Next, we're gonna try putting the secret code in the middle of a 10,000 token input. And then I'm gonna do my initial test. I'm gonna put the code at the start and then we're gonna blow way past that 28,000 tokens or something that I did in the previous video. We're gonna get up to 50,000 tokens to see if it remembers the secret code. Eventually I'll just be doing this forever, so I think this is a good start. This is gonna answer a bunch of our questions and we're gonna have a better idea of how chat GPT, especially GPT-4 Turbo works. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be our first input. You can see I copied an entire Shakespeare article from Wikipedia. It's 10,428 tokens. And just a reminder, you can see how many tokens it is on the OpenAI tokenizer website. You just paste your text in and it'll break it down into characters and tokens. And you can see all these colors here, like collaborations is one token, reinterpreted is two. Yeah, it's almost 10,500 tokens. So I'm gonna copy this. We're gonna paste this in. Let's let chat GPT respond. All right, I don't know what this title is. It auto wrote the title GPT-4 coming soon, even though this is a Shakespeare article. That might be a little glitch. But anyways, title's completely different. It's not about our secret code. The metadata has nothing to do with the secret code. And now we're gonna pop the secret code in. I want you to remember this secret code for later. The secret code is and keeping with my fruit theme, let's do pineapple. All right, pop that in. Now to keep the parts of the conversation distinct, I think I should do a different input than Shakespeare to fill up these token counts. So maybe if I ask it a question about the first part of the conversation and it mentions Shakespeare, we know it remembered that, and then I can ask it about the secret code after. So let's find a different article. Okay, the next article is about Guatemala. Shout out to Guatemala. We got 10,657 tokens copy it all go back into chat gpt let's hit this up i'm going to try to keep it closer to 10,000, just so we can do the simple math we'll know that each of our inputs are 10,000 instead of trying to get to the max of the token limit okay the next one i'm doing a seinfeld article this is about 10,000. paste this in okay we have a good amount of tokens here i don't want to accidentally blow past the perceived context window length because i still want to kind of set its boundaries so we're gonna see how much all of this is total. We know each of my inputs was 10,000 and the output here is only 500 and the Guatemala output was about 500 too. So we're at 20,100. Let's do maybe a small piece just to get to 25,000. I think that's a good test. Even though we all think it's 32,000. Okay, this is about 5,000. So we'll get us to about 26,000. All right, let's see how much its output is. 818. So we have the Guatemala article about 10,000, a Seinfeld article, 10,000, a Beethoven article, 5,000, and then it's three outputs. So we're almost at 28,000 tokens since we gave it the secret code. But I wanna test two things. First, I wanna ask it 
if it remembers what we talked about at the beginning of the conversation. That's the Shakespeare article. So I asked it, what topic did we talk about at the very beginning of this conversation? I hope it understands what I'm asking. It's loading quite a bit here. Is it going through everything? Okay, that's interesting. It answered my secret code question instead of the Shakespeare answer. All right, well, that answers our second question. It definitely remembered the secret code. That's funny. That answer is the, is the metadata influencing the results. That answer is no. We know that for a fact now. Can I get it to tell me about Shakespeare? What did we talk about before the secret code? Because the secret code was after the Shakespeare topic. No, we talked about Guatemala. So it doesn't remember Shakespeare. Did I get this wrong? Okay, Shakespeare. Yeah, I got that wrong. So our timeline was Shakespeare article, secret code, then Guatemala. Let me just straight up ask it. Did we talk about Shakespeare? So I think this answers a bunch of our questions. It looks like the context window is the 32,000 that was promised in the keynote speech, something along those lines. I had another viewer here make a very interesting discovery. They looked in the network tools in Chrome and the backend API said it had a limit of 32,767, which is pretty interesting to me because we can make a bet that the context window is the 32,000 tokens plus whatever the system prompt is that we don't know about, which might be 767 tokens. Something like you are a chat AI and we need you to respond in a conversation and not copyright infringe or anything like that. I think that backend prompt is pretty secretive. That's OpenAI's prompt, but that makes sense. So I think we found it. We've confirmed that limit. There's still one more test. I don't need to do that third test. All right, we did one. We don't have to do three. I think we already answered the question with number three. It didn't remember Shakespeare, which was about 40,000 tokens away from when I asked it. So it definitely failed a 50,000 token test. I'm still curious about number two. I wanna put it in the middle of an input, like say something like here, a couple paragraphs in, because it's possible that it's taking each of these inputs and its outputs as chunks and it's looking through them individually. And what I mean by that is I gave it like a specific chunk, a separate message in the conversation where I ask it for the secret code. So it might be able to recall this easier because it's a separate message compared to if it was in the middle of an input. Let's test that now. Let's delete this chat. I'm going to find a new article. Let's do open AI. Very fitting. Okay. This is about 10,000 tokens. Let's scroll somewhere in the middle here. Let's go right here. And I'm going to say, I want you to remember the secret code for later. The secret code is pineapple. It's in the middle of all this text. Let's copy this in. Here we go. I'm going to wait for its response. In the meantime, I'm going to find another article. Here's an article about Amazon. Copy it all, paste it in. So this is 10,000, whatever its response was to the last part, plus about 5,000 because our secret code's in the middle. We're probably at around 16,000. I don't want to fail this test. So maybe let's grab 8,000 tokens more. All right, this is about 8,000 tokens on the NBA. Completely different topic. Let's paste this in. And let's start counting our total tokens. It's weird the titles that they're coming up for these chats now. I think that's a little broken. I don't know why this is a different language. Okay, this is where I said the secret code. Let's copy everything from that point. Okay, since I said the secret code, we have 10,783 plus... 11,116 plus 3,989 gives us almost 26,000 tokens, which is inside the context window. Okay, now let's ask it. What is the secret code that I gave you earlier? Drum roll, please. I like this long thinking time when you ask it this type of question. I think it got it. Bang. Pineapple. Okay, recap. Test one, it passed. We put the secret code after an initial input so it would change the metadata of the conversation. It titled it something completely different. We gave it the secret code that was pineapple. Then we pasted a bunch of articles, almost around 30,000 tokens, and it remembered the secret code. Okay, it also passed test number two. I put the secret code in the middle of a 10,000 input, so around the 5,000 mark. Then we pasted in 25,000 tokens worth of information. That's including our article inputs and ChatGPT's outputs. Different topics to kind of confuse the AI. It remembered the secret code. And then test number three, we didn't have to do because it failed. When I asked it to talk about Shakespeare, 
which was the beginning of our one conversation, it didn't know that we talked about Shakespeare. And that was around 40,000 tokens before. So we've officially found the boundaries of the new GPT-4 Turbo within ChatGPT. I hope this answers all of your questions in the comments. This is the final context window test. I don't know if I want to do another one. Unless there's a major update, we're going to leave this for now. But I think this was a good video to make. I'm glad I made it. And I hope you guys got some good information from it. Okay, see ya.